from note taking to calendar use to using other apps. This is the productivity boost you needed. So grab your Z Fold 5 and let's revolutionize the way you work and play. If I just want to open any app, for example, I'm in, the, I'm in the middle of a meeting and I need to take some notes, I can open up the Samsung Notes app for me. Here we go. So I can use this app as it is. Now, uh, right now, if I'm interested in opening a second app, how do I do? I just swipe the swipe up and then you can see the recent apps at the bottom. Let's say I'm in, interested in opening up one of the calendar apps. So either I just drag it up here by holding the icon or in the, instead of horizontal mode, I can just drop it here in the vertical mode. Here you go. Now this is the standard view for the two apps simultaneously side by side or you can change the layout to vertical mode. I just want to show you a few tips and tricks here. Now if you just want to maximize the area or if you want if you're not happy with the layout and you want to change the note staking app on the right side and the calendar app on the left side and vice versa you can see the three dots here in the middle these ones separating the two uh, screens on the left and the right so by just holding the uh, the if you just click on them you've got three options so one the first one is the layout difference in which if you just click on it, it will um, spread it accordingly. One other interesting point is that if I want to maximize one or the other area between these two apps, I can just hold the three uh, dots in the middle. This becomes a drag function. So I can just maximize or minimize whichever side. Let's say if I want to maximize the area of the notes taking app, I can just bring it here. Off you go. So now you've got a bigger working screen on the left side during your meeting or uh, class lecture or something. If you just want to have more area for the calendar, you just drag it to the left side and vice versa. If you just want in the middle, I can do so. Now another interesting feature is if I'm dragging this separator right up to the edge, you see on the left side, this app is disappearing, but it hasn't disappeared completely. If by accidentally, if I, if I move it too far, it disappears, but I've not taken my finger off the screen. And if I just go back, I can bring it back here. Same on this side, if it goes too far. To flip it back, just bring your finger back and off you go. Now here is a real magic part. If I, if I want to add a third app, for example, in the middle of a meeting, I need to do some uh, calculations and I need, I need a calculator once again, just draw, uh, just bring, just swipe up to uh, to bring the recent apps, and in this I can use the calculator app. Just drag and drop here, so you can drag and drop at the bottom of the screen if I, if you want, or if I want to drag and drop at the top, I can do that. Or if I keep it in the middle, it will replace the second app. However, if I want to open the third app, I'm just going to drag and drop here. So I want to share a few other interesting features which um, will further help uh, strengthen your multitasking actually. If you see there are three dots separating the left and the right side of the screen and there are two dots separating the top and bottom of the right half of the screen. So there's a purpose for that. So if I click on these two dots, this means it becomes a dragging function like we did for the left and right uh, of the screen and those were with the three dots. Now these are with the two dots. Once again, you can maximize the area of your interest. Let's say the calculator is a priority here. I can do that. Uh, if I just want to bring it back down, uh, I want to work more on the calendars app, I can just do it here. So, so these two dots are on the right side. Now, on the left side, again, same three dots. We can maximize or minimize the work area. One other feature of the three dots right now is previously, if you remember, we used to say that uh, you could you could flip the two sides of the screen between left and right or top and bottom. But now, if you if you want to rotate, it will ro it can rotate the screen like clockwise. So this way, you can orientate the screens according to your preference, um, whichever way you like. And if you just keep rotating, it will just move accordingly. Before I move to the pro tip, I just want to share one final point. And if you see here closely, in all the three apps which are open, you've got 
this line which appears a horizontal line at the top of each um, app this is for a reason if you just click on this line you, have, you see either four functions this means either you can close this app or you can maximize this app to a, a single uh, app on the whole screen or you can just minimize it into a small uh, icon or inset or you've got these uh, this icon with which you can go back to the apps uh, section and if you want to open any other app instead of this you can do so so this way you can just convert it in, back into a two screen mode or a single screen mode one final bit this the same line if you just hold it for example if i want to bring this uh, samsung notes app to the right side so there is no other option because otherwise you will have to just keep uh, flipping back and forth in a rotating manner instead of doing that you've got one other option you just hold this line this way you can move the whole screen to the one side and here we go so by dragging and dropping it becomes like a dragging and dropping function from the same mode like this the final tip of the day which is the pro tip if I'm interested in using this set of combination of these three apps frequently and instead of doing all this process over and over again I've got a very useful tip click on the three dots here you've got the star button which means I can save it as a favorite and if you click on the star you can save it as a favorite on either either in the taskbar or the home screen or the apps edge panel so let's do it to the home screen once you do that go back to your home screen and you can see this it's appearing here so you just have to click this icon on the, from the home screen and all this process becomes a breeze instantly next we can try by adding it to the side panel or the apps edge panel if i click it here it goes into the apps edge panel you can save as many combinations as possible of your split screen mode with three different apps for example I've saved another uh, combination of Amazon, the calendar, and Google Chrome. Let's click on this and see, here we go. So this saves you enormous amount of time and effort, and uh, you can just uh, uh, customize your multitasking to the next level. And there you have it, folks. With the split screen function on your Samsung Fold, whether it's Fold 5 or 4 or 3, you can take your multitasking and uh, productivity as well as time efficiency to a whole new level especially with um, the function of saving as many multitasking screens in your favorite combinations as possible if you found this video helpful please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more awesome tips and tricks coming up in due course until next time happy multitasking